If the ocean water feels a little warmer than what you're used to this time of year, you are right. Yesterday, the Scripps Institution of Oceanography measured a temperature of 78.3 degrees. That is the warmest temperature ever recorded in the month of September and part of the warmest multi-day stretch of water temperatures since they started keeping record back in 1916, over 100 years ago. While it may be great for swimmers, it does pose a danger for marine life that depend on phytoplankton and kelp. What that means is potentially there's less food for other organisms up the food chain. While the current heat wave is due to the high pressure system parked over Northern California eroding our marine layer, researcher Melissa Carter says the average water temperature has been trending warmer in recent decades. Now your microclimate forecast presented by Bill Howe. Here's meteorologist Carlene Chavis. Everything is warmer and hotter right now, Carly, <laughs> including <laughs> our yes. daytime temperatures and overnight temperatures, too, not mm -hmm. dropping a whole not lot. Very cool. No, and they're not even tonight. So we're still talking. Don't get mad, Marcel. Just you want to open the window I and know. feel that breeze, and it's just kind of warm air. Well, you have to wait at least a couple more days. Okay. Yeah, it's not too far off. But temperatures even tonight, we're still experiencing 70s going into the 10 o'clock hour. Temperatures will dip. Not a... Uh, in the way you want them to. We are talking about the upper 60s for overnight lows, low 70s being possible as well. Temperatures right now, we're holding strong to those 70s, and that's from the mountains all the way towards the coast. We're at 72 degrees for Fallbrook, 71 for Del Mar, 75 for downtown, 77 degrees right now for Escondido, and 79 for El Cajon, holding on to the heat of the 90s at this hour for the desert. We have light winds not exceeding 10 miles per hour. We're at 6 for downtown. Downtown, nine for Borrego Springs and Julian, and that will be the case going into the overnight hours. We're going to have winds fairly light, but they'll really pick up by this weekend. Talking about the cloud cover, so we will have the marine layer returning to our forecast. A few low clouds are right along the coast and extending into the coastal valleys, not extending as far inland as it will as we hit our Sunday forecast. So really that marine layer deepening by this weekend with a trough of low pressure moving in, and that will aid in our cooler temperatures that we're waiting so patiently for. By the afternoon hours, we will have drier conditions and then also seeing that marine layer back off by 3 p.m. on Sunday. We'll have temperatures below average as we hit our Sunday forecast because of an area of low pressure. So the high that's been sitting over us will continue to shift towards the east as it does weakening. That trough of low pressure will set up shop as we hit the weekend and another one will keep us below average with our temperatures by next week. So winds for tonight will be fairly light but they'll really start to pick up as we hit our weekend forecast. Up to 14 miles per hour for Fallbrook on Saturday night at 6 p.m. Also seeing those double digits for Ramona at 12 miles per hour, 10 miles per hour for Julian and Pine Valley. But the gusts will really be in the desert, kicking up to 20 miles per hour, 6 p.m. on Saturday, and then kicking up a little bit more, 24 miles per hour for Borrego Springs. Those higher wind gusts will favor the desert mountain slopes, 34 miles per hour being possible going into Sunday morning fairly early and keeping that breeze. But that will knock temperatures down to a more comfortable range as we hit our weekend forecast. At the coast, keep in mind a southwest swell wave heights about two to four feet also we will have a moderate risk of rip currents at our local beaches our next tide change will be that low tide at 11 51 tonight so daytime highs still on the warm side for tomorrow but then we're going to hit those cooler temperatures by sunday below average and we'll keep that going into the middle of the week even talking about the upper 70s returning to the inland valleys by tuesday so how's that for some cooler temperatures in our forecast? We'll have the upper 70s in the mountains on Tuesday, 90 by tomorrow. That's a big swing with the temperatures. We will warm up for the second half of next week, but let's not even worry about that right now. I just wanted no. to mention it. But weekends here. <laughs> weekends here, cooler temperatures yeah. by Sunday. It's going to be fun. It's going to feel real nice. A break in more ways than one, right? We'll take it. <laughs> yes. So excited. Any break. <laughs> Thanks, Carly. You're welcome.